My name is Les Harmon and I'm an associate professor here at the Duke University School of Nursing. And I teach in the nurse practitioner program. I'm one of the lead faculty for the adult GERO nurse practitioner program. Um, and I'm also the director of the HIV specialty, uh, which is a new specialty for us here at Duke. Um, we are one of five schools that have received funding through HRSA to develop a training program for nurse practitioners who want to go into HIV care upon graduation. Um, we are unique in that we're the only school in the southeast uh, that has this type of specialty for nurse practitioners and we are a distance-based program. Um, the majority of our students in the nurse practitioner program here at Duke come from the southeast and many of those from uh, North and South Carolina. Um, so we have the potential here to really have an impact on the care of people living with HIV in the southeast. The HIV epidemic in the United States is really the worst in the southeast. Um, and at the beginning of the epidemic, uh, of course, uh, the urban centers were more affected. Uh, we have more cases in rural areas now, and we have um, the, the southeast actually leads the nation in the number of deaths from HIV and AIDS. Um, so there's a real need here, I think, to uh, bring more providers into the workforce who can take care of folks with HIV infection. Now, we're 33 years into the epidemic, and since the late 1990s, we've had very, very effective treatments for HIV infection. So people who are infected with HIV uh, at this point in time um, have a lot of treatment options. We actually have four FDA-approved, one pill, once a day combinations of medications that people can take. Um, if people are successfully treated for HIV infection, they can expect to live a normal lifespan. So we've come a long way, but we still have a great need for more uh, providers to understand the unique needs of people with HIV infection. Now, as we have uh, developed better treatments and people are living longer and living better, we'll be seeing a shift of we'll be seeing a shift in how HIV is treated and the settings in which it is treated. Um, up until now, most uh, people with HIV infection have been treated in infectious disease clinics. Um, a lot of people are treated in the Ryan White uh, Care Act system of clinics, uh, which are clinics that are federally funded throughout the United States. Um, but I think what we're going to see in the coming years is that when HIV, as HIV is becoming a more manageable chronic disease, people will be managing HIV infection in the general primary care setting. So our goal here at the school is to educate nurse practitioners uh, who may have an interest in working with that population uh, with the HIV specialty. The other thing that we're doing though is we're trying to infuse more HIV content throughout our curriculum so that every nurse practitioner graduate from our school will have some skill in identifying acute HIV infection and chronic HIV infection, and they will have uh, some basic training in how to manage HIV. Uh, those who want to dig a little deeper and really specialize with this population can take the HIV specialty. It is a 12 credit uh, specialty, and it's open to students in our adult GERA nurse practitioner program and FNP. Uh, family nurse practitioner programs. We are a distance-based program, so uh, we currently have students, um, oh, we have students from uh, New York, Ohio, um, California, Georgia, North Carolina. Um, and while students are in this program, they will come to campus every semester that they're engaged in clinical work um, and meet in small groups for interprofessional type of learning experiences here at the school. We have uh, three courses, uh, foundational courses that students take. One is in HIV pathogenesis and epidemiology. Another course is in HIV psychosocial, legal, political, and ethical aspects of HIV. And uh, a third course in uh, HIV pharmacotherapies. And once students have had those foundational courses, they move into HIV clinical management course, and they complete a 168-hour clinical practicum in an HIV treatment setting. 
And then students uh, finish up the program with a 224-hour clinical synthesis experience, again, in an HIV treatment setting. So when folks graduate from this program, they will be able to go to work in HIV treatment centers uh, and anywhere that people are treating HIV infection. One of the things that is unique about our program, since we are a distance-based program, we assist students with finding uh, clinical sites for completing their practicums. So for every student who comes here, we will work very hard to locate an HIV treatment center in or near that student's home community uh, so that they can receive training uh, in their own geographic area. We're very excited to have this program up and running. We enrolled our first cohort in this past year and uh, we are accepting applications. And you can obtain more information by going to our website at nursing.duke.edu. You can also look me up in the faculty directory and I'm happy to answer your questions, schedule a phone call or a meeting. Um, thank you for your time.